Yeah, I know. This is gonna be another boring video. I know. What, you wanna come up here? Well, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Ah, Chuckles is here. All right. Look at the camera. Oh, there you go. Say hi. Wanna wave? No? Okay. Well, yeah, it's probably going to be another boring video. Uh, I have to show you, I'm going to show you what else I'm, I've got to do with this uh, uh, dynamotor to get it up and running the way it should be. It bouncing back and forth the way it was from 160 volts down to 140, back up again to 150. That's not right. Um, that's from carbon buildup around a commutator and that's why I had to go through and I had to use sandpaper to clean it up. Oh, that's that's it. Sandpaper. Not emery cloth uh, because emery, emery cloth has some metal in it. I found out from my brother, my brother Ron, and he said if you go ahead and use that on it, basically it'll short out that commutator. If you Luckily I didn't do it completely so I went back and I used sandpaper on it to uh, clean them up. So, yeah. So anyway, we did that. Oh, and then today I took Chuckles here over to the vet. Man, that has really changed. Before, you still just go ahead and walk right on in there. Oh, no. You can't even walk inside the veterinarian's office at all. They have signs posted out in front. Uh, please stay in your vehicle and uh, call this number and then we will come out to you. Basically, it's like kind of like a drive through almost. But yeah, so if like this guy here, he just needed his update on his uh, rabies shot. Well, I went ahead, I got a message from him on the weekend. Oh, he's, he's coming up for his rabies shot. Why don't you go ahead and make an appointment. So I did that online uh, on this, you know, for the, the vet I have that has his information. What do you think happened? I get there, oh no, they got no record of it at all. Even though I saw it on when I was putting it in for today's date. So anyhow, so yeah, the girl came out and said, oh, really sorry, da 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 the whole routine. So I said, I'll make an appointment for you next time we have is is the 13th, Tuesday next week, same time, 1020. I said, okay, well, whatever. And this guy here, he's not really the best in the car. Um, he gets all shaky and uh, he just, he's all nervous. And then, then when he gets to the vet and he sees them come out in their little, their little blue coats, he growls at them. <laughs> So I think for him to get a shot, I'm going to have to get a muzzle for this guy. Otherwise, I may have uh, 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 them suing me from this dog biting him, trying to give him a shot. So, yeah, just, just one of those things. So, anyhow, now she, the other thing I had to do, too, is I had to pull the uh, capacitor out on this dynamotor, too. At least on one side, and then I tested it. So, I'll show you there. <clears throat> so, anyhow, let me go ahead and do that before this video takes way too long. Uh, come on, get out. Ah, there you go. Okay. Now yeah, we're going to go back over here. Doo -doo -doo. Uh -huh. Tilt this down. And let's see what we can do here. Well, yeah, maybe I can drop my my arm down here rather than make it too tall. All right, I'm gonna do that, and then we'll see if we get a little bit closer, and then we will show you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna test it out. This is the the domino cap that came out of it. According to the color code on it, it should be a .005. Uh, I've cleaned 
it had a little corrosion on the, the two sides, so I cleaned it up. And we're going to hook it up to my handy dandy capacitor tester. Cheap Chinese, of course, I should say. And we'll turn it on. Bloop. Yep. How about that? 0 0.005 on the nose. No changes whatsoever. Okay, so the capacitors are not the problem. I mean, I'm going to pull out the other one. I'll check it uh, before I put... Well, actually, after I put this one back in. <clears throat> so we know that's not going to be a problem. And uh, turn this other light on. Nothing like a whole bunch of light. All right. And uh, I can hook it up again, I guess. Watch it take off. Yay! Let me turn it on. Okay. So, the high voltage size is one of the capacitors. So, it now has only one capacitor. So, as you can see, it's only got one capacitor there. But, I can get to the other side easy enough doing this. And, uh, and... Now, it may sound like it's a little loud, but it's really not. It's not really that loud at all. It's only because it's vibrating on this wood. But uh, then the other thing I've done, of course, is uh, this is sandpaper. I'm going to cut in strips and make sure it's hard enough. You can really lug that sucker down too if you want to. And uh, okay. And then I'm gonna turn that off. And of course I had to use my little handy dandy pick here. Make sure each one of these was open. And of course, I've been using a lot of Q-tips. <clears throat> Lots of Q-tips with alcohol. Okay, either side. So I've been doing that. And good old alcohol. Regular old rubbing alcohol is all we're using. And got plenty of Q-tips. I got a whole, I got a whole sack of Q-tips. Uh, so still, we're going to see. Let's put it back in again, and. Plug her back in again. And this is only a 12 volts supply on it right now. So. Leave this, I actually cleaned this off once already. But, it is already still just running sandpaper over it one more time did that. Uh, and make sure we get it to the point where it's like, uh, it'll kind of be gray actually, it won't really be black anymore. In fact, I think I'll use their, their changing tone now. Two Q-tips at once.
and we'll try that. Nah, it's not bad now. I mean, it's a little gray. It's... Do it one more time. Clean it up. Okay. Let me do the other side too. That's still dirty. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm going to call that good. <clears throat> I don't think that's it. Okay, I'm going to stop that. Oops, before it goes flying off. There we go. Alright, well. What have we got? Let's see. Let's see what we have. Looks like there should be. All right, well, that should be it. Um, next thing we'll have to do is put everything back together and then we'll do another test on it. So we'll do that one in another video. Guys, this is the end of part two of working on this dynamo motor. Bye for now.